Hey guys, it's 11.07, so I'm about to go take my midterm. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and just head over. So for me, one of the more important things to bring to testing is a watch, because a lot of the building stairs actually don't have like a huge clock, and sometimes they don't display a clock. So you actually have no way to like keep track of time, so it's a pretty important thing to have. So last night, when I was studying for my midterm, I actually made a cheat sheet because we're allowed to have um, a page of cheat sheets. But then I didn't realize that we're only allowed to have one side, so I actually wrote double-sided on here. So this morning I had to wake up really early and fit everything onto just this one small side. It took me like two hours and my hands are cramping now. So sad. Right before the test too. Alright, time to head out. So another really important thing to bring is also your ID because sometimes at tests they'll want to like check your ID to make sure you're actually the, like the correct student taking the test. So if you don't have it with you, you actually can't submit your test. So make sure you always bring an ID with you. Walking to my midterm now, and I'm actually walking by People's Park right now. You can see behind me. It's where like a lot of homeless people kind of chill out. So at night it's a little bit sketch. So I would like advice to stay away from this place at night or at least walk up with a friend or something but yeah walking to my impending doom so here's a pretty view of our campanile just kidding it's covered by trees but the campanile is basically like our huge clock tower thing so you can actually go to the top of it it's free for students if you have a student id i think it's like two dollars if you're like not a student and the view is pretty nice if you like go on a pretty clear day but if it's cloudy i'd say save your money and your time so ahead of me, like that red brick building is the room that I'm taking my test in. The outside doesn't look too big, but you'll be pretty surprised how big the lecture hall is. I'm so sad. I literally had no idea what was going on during that test. So I'm just gonna go home and just wallow away in my sadness after I use the bathroom because I really needed to pee the entire time. But I didn't want to leave because I was running out of time, so I just had to hold on to it. Hey, look, I found a Pokemon this time. Gotta catch it. Oh god, it's so hard to catch. So I'm out buying groceries right now. And one of the biggest struggles of living on your own is that you don't have parents cooking for you, so you kind of have to figure out how to cook yourself or like ask someone to teach you. And you could eat at the dorm still, but that like costs a lot of money. And I don't want to eat out every day, so I'm trying to learn how to cook. But I think I have a lot of friends that know how to cook, so they're just teaching me. But for now, everything I make doesn't taste that great, but it'll get better, hopefully. There's like a ton of pasta sauces here. Pasta is one of the easier things to make, so that's one of the first things I learned how to make, actually. The chip section is my favorite section. <laughs> right next to the soda section. <laughs> Can we get this? So many excuses. I <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> it's so cute. So neat. Oh. You guys like so awkward behind the camera. <laughs> 